Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about old play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and started up Tails' story and we got all the way to Ice Cap Zone. What took us two episodes of Sonic's story only took us one over here in Tails' story. Anyways in this episode we're going to go ahead and fight Knuckles and just see how far we can get. Our second fight with Knuckles, now is Tails this time. Is it any harder? Nope. Chaos 4 again, and sorry about that uh, waterfall that it was freaking out in the background, just from the way that I record this, it's uh, sometimes some of the textures can be a bit weird, so. But yeah, now we have to do Chaos 4 and without the homing attack, so yeah, it's as tedious as it sounds. And unfortunately, I think that this is uh, this is the fight that you have to do the most out uh, across all of the stories, because you get, have the perspective of both Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. I don't know why I said both when I was describing three people. Is there a word for three people that's similar to how both is for two people? I'll try looking that up later and seeing if there's something similar to that. Thankfully this fight was a lot quicker than I thought, I guess just because I'm commentating. And I think it actually might have taken less hits than it previously did. Oh. I guess to make up for how little t hits he's taking, he's, his attacks are lasting like a decade and a half. Thankfully, that's over with, and now we just have to go through Sky Chase Act 1 again. Floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier! 
but it pales in comparison to the power of chaos. Adieu, until we meet again, my friends. <laughs> Knuckles, we'll take care of everything here. Come on, let's get going. Yeah. I was thinking of maybe like cutting out this that cutscene because it's basically the same as it was before, but eh, I'll go ahead and let you guys watch it again. You know what? I don't know how popular of an opinion my distastes, I'll just say, for Sky Chase is. Like, it's not like I hate the level, it's just that it's not my cup of tea. Like, I, l I enjoy levels where it's like you're in a plane in the sky, but this one just kind of feels slow. Like, you're not really doing much throughout it. Maybe it's just because I've played this game so many times and I know that it's just wait two and a half minutes until it's over but you know what YouTube doesn't allow you to do polls in the iCards anymore but go over to my community tab which is a thing on my channel and I'll have a poll set up when this episode comes out and I'll ask for your guys' opinion on Sky Chase do you love it do you like it are you neutral do you dislike it or do you hate it I'm personally like I'm more on the either neutral or dislike side uh, and don't let my opinion of the level uh, change your opinion, because I want, you know, to see what people's actual thoughts are and stuff like that. So, if you personally love this level, don't let someone like me stop you from loving it. While we're going through here, uh, I remember back in 5th grade, that was when we started doing... Uh, band classes and stuff like that and I remember that I decided to play the trombone because it's like a funny instrument and I was like huh that could be fun and it was it kind of sucked like maybe this is just me complaining about first world problems but the plastic that the uh that the trombone case was made out of was super weird and like the handle was super small so I had to grab onto it and hold the entire trombone up with like the tips of my fingers and so that hurt my hands a lot and plus like the trombone is made out of weird material and you know sometimes I feel weird when I touch weird materials and stuff like that you know super heavy and as I was doing the whole trombone thing I was you know taking the bus from home to school and the place that my that my bus would stop off is like a block or two away from my house and it takes like five or ten minutes to walk all over there so I had to carry this like I don't even know how much a trombone weighs but it's heavy so now we get to see where tails went after we got shot down at the end of sky chase act one
that dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! Hmm, wonder where he went. Sure hope he's all right. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm gonna get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Looks like I'd better find one fast. Now we're on the hunt for a Chaos Emerald. And even though we as the player know where Sonic is right now, since he's over, you know, at the beach and dealing with Amy and Twinkle Park, we can't actually go there because the people who run the train are currently on strike. So... Wow! There's a Chaos Emerald! Hey! Wait up! Stop! There's Froggy, Big's pet frog. I mean, you probably could have guessed what animal he was by the name. But yeah, he took the Chaos Emerald, and now we've got to chase after him. So you can see that Froggy has some sort of link with Chaos and the Chaos Emeralds, because earlier uh, in Sonic's story, Eggman mentioned that when he found Froggy, he also found Chaos's tail. So that's a pretty interesting little thing that we'll have to see how they're connected. This is Sand Hill, I believe is the name. I don't know, I, I was uh, I was busy commentating and I didn't actually look at the name of the level. But this is one that I think actually returned in uh, the Team Sonic Racing game that came out a couple years back. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, there's not much else in terms of trivia for you here. This is a pretty short level, you just gotta get down here and we're already done. So it seems again that uh, the little ball of light has brought us over to somewhere that we have never seen before. And if this little temple thing looks familiar to you, that's because this is similar at least to where uh, Sonic entered Lost World. It's even got the little snakehead entrance. And if this didn't seem like it was connected enough to the, uh, to the Mystic Ruins, the Background music is just the drums from the Mr. Yeah. Goon's theme. Also, we have the echidnas over here. You have no idea what fighting is all about. You just attack. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like Knuckles was the lone survivor of whatever wiped out his race. But it seems here that the echidna are all alive and well. So just keep all of these little things right here in the back of your mind for now. Right here we have another upgrade. You found the rhythm badge. To do continuous tail attacks, hold the action button down. I don't know why, but to me this attack looks Kinda of goofy. Also, speaking of goofy, in the opening cutscene, I forgot to mention this last episode, but in the opening cutscene for uh, Tails' story, I love the weird physics on Tails' plane as he's crashing. In Sonic's story, it looked like 
you know, Tails' plane was just smoking and it started falling down and like leaning forward like a regular plane. But in Tails' story, it was just all over the place and it had this this real these real goo goofy sound effects. The servers are the seven Chaos Emeralds. Hello there, friend. How are you? Um, what were you saying before? Huh. It's something my grandmother taught me. I'm never to forget it. It goes like this. The servers are the seven Chaos. Chaos is power, power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. But I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Forgive me, but I don't think we've ever met before. I'm to call. And you are? And we'll have to get the Tornado 2 up and raring to go in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and meet up with Sonic again. Because once we get the Tornado fixed up, this will be around the time that uh, Sonic finishes off Red Mountain and Tails comes in with the plane. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! after they built this station.